So if you've seen my 2021 wish list video, you know I'm obsessed with the Bottega Veneta chain cassette bag. Well, your girl was able to luck up and find one from below retail. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how I found it. I'm gonna show you the bag, give you my initial impressions. I'll even do some modeling of it. My name is Kathy. Welcome to my channel and my closet. I talk about beauty, fashion, luxury, and lifestyle. If that interests you, please think about subscribing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let's get started talking about this bag. In my 2021 wish list video, I said I wanted the Bottega Veneta chain cassette bag in white. I was really not sure how I was gonna get it because the price had gone up from $3,800 to $3,900 from the first time I saw it to when I put it on my wish list. Last month, I got an email from Gilt saying that they had Bottega Veneta on sale. I went to the site and I went to check and see what they had. I knew they weren't gonna have the white chain cassette bag because it's, I think it's just a fall season bag. So it was probably too early for it to go on sale, but I wanted to see what they had in their selection. As luck would have it, they did have chain cassette bags, but they didn't have my color. As I was perusing the site, my eyes saw this beautiful lemony, neon, fluorescent green, yellow bag. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if this could work for me. I showed the bag to my friend who enables all of my luxury impulse buys. And she actually pointed out that, you know what, this bag might be better for me than the white bag because of color transfer and the versatility. The color could almost be used as a neutral, similar to the white. I still wasn't sold. The bag was not the retail price, which is $39.90, essentially $4,000, but it was $32.50. Not cheap, but a lot cheaper than retail price. So I, I thought about it. I, I, I thought about it for, I think, two weeks. During those two weeks, I started thinking about what can I actually wear with this bag? Do I have this color in my wardrobe? And to my surprise, I actually have a lot of pops of, of this shade or similar shade in my wardrobe. And so that kind of made me feel better to pull the trigger. And during the two weeks, Guild decided they want to start sending me emails like, there's only three of these bags left. You, did you forget something in your cart? Because unfortunately, like a sucker, I put it in my cart so they knew I wanted it. So I finally ordered the bag and they make me wait a week for it to show up. But when it did, I was pleasantly surprised. One thing about these chain cassette bags, and I think I'm, a lot of the Bottega Veneta bags is they don't come in boxes. So if you're gonna be one of those people who's like upset that it doesn't come with a box, yeah, I'm sorry. It does come with a dust bag. Let me take it out for you. Now, one thing about this bag, oh, first let me show you. The color that I got was kiwi. As I said, I initially wanted white, but this kiwi color is just so gorgeous. The only thing was it's a little bit different than the color I remember and the color that was shown to me on the site. So initially I was kind of like, oh, I thought it was gonna be a little bit brighter, but I've since come to the conclusion that this color is probably a little bit more wearable than a slightly brighter fluorescent green or yellow color. So my bag was fresh in a, in a bag. And so that's why it still has this like plastic in it. I, I just got it out of the bag. My initial impression is it's a gorgeous bag. One of the few first things that people, most people are complaining about is definitely the way it opens. It's, it's a hard bag to open if you've never opened it. I think most people assume that it's just gonna be a, a, a lift up. But I think both Bottega Banana did that just so they wouldn't, you wouldn't always have to be pressing up against the bag. There is a trick to it. All right, so the bag is, as I said, it's a little bit hard to open and close. You essentially have to pull down and lift. It's like I said, most people will assume it's a magnetic closure, it's not. And so close it you kind of just push it back into this little, into, into place. So once you figure it out, it's easy, but the first time a lot of people said that they had a really hard time figuring out how to get it open. And I can I definitely understand that. I had used it in the store, so I, I already knew how to do it. So in terms of what it holds, I will say it's it's not the biggest bag inside. I have a Bottega Veneta pouch bag, which I feel is definitely more spacious, but in terms of what's inside, you have like a little pocket. And for the most part, it can hold your keys, your wallet, your mask, some makeup for touch-ups, things like that. This is definitely not the bag that you're going to, that you're just gonna stuff a bunch of stuff in. Like the pouch, I can put, I can throw a small pair of shoes in. This, you might be able to get those little, you know, foldable flip-flops in, but it's not a bag that you're gonna just stuff and load up. And you really don't want to. I know that there's a lot of people who have dupes of this bag. And one thing I will say that from the difference between this bag and any dupe is, oh my gosh, this chain, a lot of people were also complaining about the weight of the chain, but for a three, $4,000 bag, 
this chain better be it better be worth it and this chain is is gorgeous <laughs> it definitely is like if you're trying to sneak up on somebody you're not going to do it with this chain if this chain rattles against something it's substantial but not heavy if that makes sense so for me it's like i i like a bag that that feels like i have a bag on so if somebody tries to rip my bag off i know you know some people just want a bag that's like wait listen light this is not the bag for you it's like i said it's not super heavy but it is substantial so i've talked about a lot of things that could be considered cons of this bag like i said the clasp the substantial chain the fact that it's the capacity but really for me i think the pros outweigh the cons the number one pro for me is that this bag is just so unique and so gorgeous there's another bag that's similar to this by bottega veneta that, that just has the regular strap and they don't even compare they're not even like they're like you know they're the before and after this bag is definitely the after and that bag is the before another pro of this bag is that this double chain can be utilized in multiple ways it's you know you can kind of I, I more than likely will be doing holding it like this just kind of either on my wrist or in my hands but it also can be worn as a crossbody or a shoulder bag another pro of this bag to me is that it looks expensive like as I said there are dupes out there but I will say the dupes if you were to hold this bag and you were holding a dupe oh my gosh you would know the difference just like I said, the, the chain is so substantial. The leather is gorgeous and plush. It looks like it costs a lot of money. And I'm one of those people, if I'm gonna buy something that's expensive, it better look like it's expensive. I'm not one of those people that's gonna buy something and it's like, oh, it's $5,000, but it looks like it's, I could have got it at Payless or some other place, not the kid. Another thing I love about this bag is that it's super versatile in what it can be worn with. I've seen people wear it with sweats, with dresses, the whole gamut. It really, like for more casual items, it really brings up the level of what you're wearing, which I'm all about, especially in this day of quarantine and COVID where most of us are, are just very casual working from home. You wanna be able to throw something on and look great. But it also can look good with a, something more dressy. The only thing I, would, I don't recommend is something that's gonna compete with this. This is a statement piece, wants to be the star, and if you let it be the star, you will be so happy with how this looks. So one of the concerns about buying this bag in this green color was that I was still gonna want the white. And even when I first got it initially, I was like, oh, maybe I should still get the white. But after really trying it on with other things, I realized that this bag is really a neutral. It's not white, but it's like a black or it's a pop of something. I was able to try it with all, all the outfits that I thought I would want to wear with white. Like in my mind, when I, in the video, I said, oh, I wanna wear it with a lot of like my white or beige sweatsuits. It looks, actually it looks better with my white or beige sweatsuits because it gives me a little pop that I, I wouldn't have had with just with a white sweatsuit. It would have just been more monochromatic. Now it's like, okay, I have a white or beige sweatsuit and now I have this like, ta-da. Like I said, it brings the level up of every casual outfit I have. I also wasn't sure like what other colors I could wear it with besides the white. But as I said, it's a neutral so I can wear it with black. It looks good with this dark navy. I love this combination. I've tried it with so many combinations. Anything that I would love a white with, this has worked well with. I'm super happy. I don't think I'm gonna buy the white one. If the only reason I would buy the white one is I had an extra $4,000 just to, to blow. Actually, I probably still wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm satisfied. I have purse piece with this chain cassette bag. So I, that's one thing off my wish list and it's only February, yay. Thank you for sticking around. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, turn on your notifications so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. See you next time.